Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are doing deck rebuilds for Journey to Ungoro. So last time we did a deck rebuild for the Druid. This time we're going to do a deck rebuild for the Hunter. So we lucked out and we do have the quest for the Hunter, which is going to play a bunch of one cost minions. So then the only question after that is what else can we do? Can we get Battle Cry maybe? I think we can do Battle Cry as a deck. So uh, we'll see if we see what we do. We have one empty slot. So Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. That's what we were gonna play. There it is. Why they move things in the wrong way, I don't know. Now, I actually do have close to all 30 of the cards for Dynomancer. And so this recipe is a mixture of old and new cards. Hmm. Interesting. But it oddly doesn't have the quest in it. So we'll just make a custom deck. So first things first, we want to play seven one-cost minions. And that gives us Queen Karasis. So add a random beast to your hand. We'll take two of those. Shuffle a 4-3 Raptor into your deck. We'll take this. Stampede each time you play a beast this turn. Add a random beast to your hand. We'll try that. I definitely want to try that. Battlecry Adapt a Friendly Beast. Mm. The, the weird thing about Beast in particular is there's so many of them getting added here. Uh, anytime I get a daily quest to play Beast, almost any deck I play will will at least make progress to that. Deal two damage and one damage to the adjacent ones. I don't really think about that. Draw two one cost minions from your deck. We'll take that. After your opponent plays a minion, attack it. This is a new kind of card. Definitely. We have no other cards that will attack out of turn like that minions cost two more i don't think so deal one damage to each hero for one beast add a one two elemental to your hand uh battle cries so i'm gonna try that one freeze an enemy i'll try that one we'll put some elementals in here I don't know about this one. Deal one damage to each hero as the hunter. Probably doesn't matter that much, so we'll try it. But it's almost certainly not one we want. And then the quest, again, is to play one cost minions. So, that's not going to work with the other cards that we have. And I don't feel like we're really having the case here. If we go into crafting mode, that there's one cost minions. Your hero power is give a beast plus two plus two. I wish I had that card, but I can't afford the dust right now. Uh, trigger a friendly minions death rattle. see yeah there was no one cost minions that we didn't get so we're gonna have to expand to standard cards and this quest says specifically play seven one cost minions so a zero cost minion actually is helpful here give a minion plus two this turn sure we'll try that Whenever you cast a spell, give a minion. We'll take a divine shield, why not? Uh, remove one durability from a weapon. Deal one damage. That's it. Your minions cost two more. There's no neutral card that uh, that would 
do things like this. The The weird thing here is I could also make a Murloc deck. And those would almost certainly all be one cost minions. So I need to rethink is that what I want to do here. Because that very well may turn out to be the case. Hmm. Because right now I've put a bunch of random one cost minions in here that have some general use but no real synergy we'll definitely take the alley cat we'll take the fiery bat and let's see we'll take the other beasts get plus one and that's right at 30. And I'm just trying to look at this deck. And it feels like there should be a few more beasts I could put in the game. Uh, and there should be a few more things. Uh, so we're going to play one game here. And then it will tell me what Queen Carnassus actually does. And then from knowing at that point what, what Queen Carnassus does, I suspect heavily I'm going to take out all the neutral cards and either fill them with beasts or murlocs or something else. There's, look at this breakdown. 27 of the, car, of the 30 cards are... Uh, 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 one mana cards so this will be very interesting and if I was to go wild with this I think I probably could find yes a couple more one mana beasts to play that would make a little bit more sense like I could have put that beast in there too uh, So, yes, this is either going to become a beast deck, which I probably don't need to focus on a beast deck, and it's probably better to become a battle cry slash murloc deck. Uh, if I was. Because once we start to get all the murlocs in there, here's another beast that's. Uh, I missed somehow? How'd I miss that? Hmm. Interesting. Where did I miss the boar? I just missed it. Alright, so... We'll get rid of that one, put that one in. Get rid of that one, put that one in. That's already... A little bit better. Must have flipped a... Flipped something. Ooh, I can put this in here too. Let's do that. A one mana legendary card that changes into other things is an interesting addition. I'm kind of just tweaking right now. A stealth creature, but he's not a beast there. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good enough to at least start us off here. What did, where did that go? This custom hunter. I should have named it something different, but whatever. Let's hop in there. So that's slightly quicker experience. And what happened to this? Well, my deck became a wild deck. I don't know how that happened. Uh, did I add something to it to make it wild? I think I may have. Hmm, I'm going to have to go back and check what I changed there so we we need to know what the quest accomplishes before we go forward because that that's going to either say we're on the right path and this is going to be a one mana Rexa! one cost uh, beast deck a side effect of this on. deck is if you ever get the daily quest to play minions that are have three or less attack then that too would uh, 
probably very easily get finished use playing this deck. So, two cards here we're very interested in playing. Alright. Job's done. So now we know what this is. This is a Queen Carnassus has a battle cry to shuffle 15 raptors into your deck. We don't know how what a raptor is, so we have to actually pull this off to see how that's going to work. Uh, mm. There needs... It feels like there needs to be a crazy strategy here where you can then summon raptors from your deck into your field, but then I don't even know how that would work because you can only get seven on the field at a time. And you, you have to balance something like that together. This is great. Both of us are playing for the same quest. That means almost certainly we're going to accomplish it. Uh... So let's see. The weird thing, though, is I I don't know when I'm gonna Such have the right right turn to play this. In fact, I shouldn't have played this. I should have played this instead and held on to the beast. All right. Hmm, maybe I should hold on to this for a little bit. Let's see, do I want to kill this guy or this guy? Hmm. Chill out. Now, since we're both doing the same quest, I can. I know he can't recover his health, so getting him down a little bit in health is not too bad. I'm at five, he's at two right now, but he's now at three. Uh, what's interesting there is it seems like he only triggered this once for summoning this, so the battle cry of summoning something different didn't work. Alright. Shuffle a 4-3 Raptor into his deck. One more, and then we've got it. And see, we're right on the fifth turn. So, this quest is particularly easy to do. Hmm. Let's see. Draw 2-1 cost minions from your deck. Right. Well, Come to me, little ones. Hmm. I'm hoping this hits this. Good. Attack here, attack here, in the turn. The Shifter Zeris in particular is going to be an odd one because it's going to turn into other things. Alright. How do I want to play this? I'm going to Stampede. And then I'm going to Battle Cry. And... I'm going to then do this, and this is giving me random minions, and I'm going to do this, and that's filled my entire hand with this. Oh darn it, though. That was working well, too. And so you play 30 Hunter class cards as one of my other daily quests, so that's 
working out nicely for me as far as getting the daily quest is done. Uh, the, the problem there, of course, was I didn't... I should have played Rexa! the card that Rexa I had gotten Hunt. through the daily card. Through the quest, just so I could see what it does. Uh, I didn't play wrong to win, but unfortunately I won too fast. So, hmm. actually, I should have traded Shifter's Heiress there. Actually, the, this is a card you don't want in your hand because it will never turn into a one mana thing again. Let's see. Add two random beasts to your hand. I feel like if you had a Murloc deck, the this would work slightly better for you. To cover a spell, just deal damage to the hero equal to its cost. Wow. Play this, you might, might easily do... You Job's could done. potentially do ten damage to a to your hero, but more than likely you're gonna do something closer to four or five. Hmm. And since Shifter's Heirs turns into something a random card. Or a random yeah, it seems a random card. I thought it turned into a random legendary card. Dinoman, see your thing. Summon all three animal companions. Or deadly shot destroy. Well, just take this right here. Oh no, oops. Oops. Mistakes that were made. Quite hit the mark. I didn't realize it was against yourself. I, well that that seemed really crazy. I can't even really blame the character, the guy now, if he beats me. I did nine damage to myself. All right. Let's do this and then this. Than this. And then in the turn. I'll never tell. Well played. The the other thing is this is probably the best quest to have Murlocs on it in the game anyways. So that one put a raptor in my deck. I didn't realize it that's how that one worked either. Some of these cards, I simply don't pay enough attention to them. Give your opponent a mana crystal. Draw two one cost minions from your deck. Hmm. Gonna lose. Adapt your silver hand recruits. Let's see. Other beasts mm. plus one. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, maybe this guy will toy with me a little bit and play that card. Alright, so... So there's 15 raptors in his deck. His, he has 36 cards. I want to see what a raptor looks like, and I'm hoping he'll decide to do that. Hmm. Let's see. Come to me, little ones. Ready for action. Don't judge. So, 
protect myself a little bit here. So I won't win here, well but if played. if he just draws a raptor, I'd like to see him play it. Alright. Carnassus Brood. Was that a raptor? Battlecry draw a card? See, and this is the question. And this is what's going to cause me to have to play again, is I need to see... I need to draw a card I know I didn't add to the deck myself. Well, I guess I could have gone uh, gone into the collection and seen if there was a Carnassus Brood was the name of a card. Otherwise, then we would know the Raptors are some kind of random assortment. Let the hunt begin. This is what I want to... I think I'm going to just keep everything here. Hmm. Happy New Year. Let's see. Happy New Year. I also would like to play this, but I kind of already know what the Swamp King Dread does, so. Cast six spells that didn't start in your deck. And he it gives you time warp, which just lets you take a second turn. Which may not actually be that useful, honestly. Um See, each time you play a beast this turn let's see how this works with this we play this and then will this give me one card or two cards Job done. all right so that only gave me one card and it only accomplished one of the uh, quest requirements even though I did summon two beasts i guess technically i didn't summon it even though it says summon An incredible I, I guess technically the alley cat summoned this tabby cat yeah. not me it was I guess what they're saying death rattle shuffle a four three raptor into your deck battle cry freeze minion and then we're going to play this and an attack. Job done. Hmm. It's going to take this guy a while, though, to get five more spells. Add a random beast to your hand. So, this. This. Kill this and then attack with the 1-1. One, one. Gee, it doesn't trigger the secret, so. May get a victory here, but I don't want to scare him off. I still need three more characters. Yeah, I really don't see how you're gonna get this quest done consistently it, it's gonna action. change your deck so much trying to get it done that it, it just doesn't seem like it's a possibility yeah, I'm just gonna leave them there hmm so discover a spell that'll work Freeze a minion, deal one damage to the people on the side. Okay. Add a random beast to your hand. Can only attack if your hero attacked this turn. Hmm. We'll just go ahead and end the turn and I kinda wanna see his him succeed too. But he's he's gonna have to do a lot. We've got this guy. I don't know why this guy actually is in this deck. Volcano Sword has no business being here. Oh, but I got him for ran at random, I think, so I guess it doesn't matter. We're done. Uh, 
And then we play this. And the Hearthstone deck tracker. I think added something to the collection, but I, I don't know. Like I have five Tolvar Wardens mm -hmm. now and seven Volcano Swords and the sw seven Swamp King Dreads. So it is, these are very high numbers. Let's see. So if I was uh, five here, five here, and five here, that's an, that, that's an interesting turn of the events. Hmm. Hmm. So this carnivorous brood, carnivorous brood is not one of my cards. I know it isn't. This will be interesting to see this card in action, too. He's got to summon something or he's going to just discard a card. Or play a spell or something. And it's taking a while to do these deck rebuilds or just in the second deck. Well done. So, the, while you will get these raptors for this quest, and that will give you some more beasts and things, I am very much leaning to the idea that, like, why is this a wild deck? Just convert that back to a standard deck and be done with it. Um, where is the custom hunter deck? There it is. I think we can do better. I, I really do. Like, I don't think we need any of this. So, let's. So if I decide against this idea, I am instead going to end up having to rebuild that from scratch. But, I think you can do a Murloc deck and you'd be much better off. I just think you'd get quicker. And if we're going to do a Murloc deck, we need to convert to wild. And then it won't take that long for us to just type in M-U-R-L-O-C. And in particular, let's get these new Murloc cards in here. So we'll try that one. If you control another Murloc, discover a Murloc. Adapt your Murlocs. Interesting idea. Summon three one one Murlocs. Eh. I'll throw that in there, but I'm not sure about that. And that's Unguru cards. Then when we go to all cards and neutral cards, which I guess where how how did that happen? All cards here filtered by Merlocks. I guess it's because, like, I can't go back here. Yeah, it's glitching out. Interesting. Uh, this card definitely. This card definitely. Uh, discover a new base hero power for one mana. And then we. This one and this one are not one mana. Murlocs, but whatever. Throw that in there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting turn of events. A significant portion of these Murloc cards are not here 
they don't they don't quite work with this quest as well as I thought it would because it's only if you eliminate this one that you have two of there's only about 15 or 12 one mana cards so then the question is what else did we would we want to do uh, you still need this so save this and this and this um, and that if your hand is empty we'll take those two also that one and we need add a random beast card to your hand I'll take that and then the only thing we could think about is summoning 311 Murlocs I don't think we need that so we'll take that instead hmm. And is there any other one mana creature? That is the quest, right? One mana creatures, not just one mana cards. Summon seven one cost minions. Hmm. These are murlocs and they're zero, so that wouldn't do it. So instead I want a one cost beast and let's see do we have a better choice than the chicken for a one cost beast. Hmm. Yes I think this is better. Is there anything else that would be a one cost beast that might be better. Hmm. This is actually really good. Take this because it's a one cost beast that eats a murlox. So we've got now Murlocs, Beast, and the quest done. And it, that's a much better strategy and synergy going on than what we had before where we were just being kind of random about it. And there certainly is a possibility of tweaking this a little bit more. I could see doing this instead. But we're hitting that level where it's it's become there's too many cards in wild and there's too many options. So it, it will get down to just playing a lot of games if that's going to be the case to figure out whether it's... A, so that's a wild deck though so I'm going to have to come over here and play it on wild. And let's see how this turns out. I think I'm pretty happy with this deck. I mean, even even before I've played it, I think this works good. This solves the... It works towards a daily quest of playing Beast. It works towards a daily quest of playing Murlocs. It works towards a daily quest of, of doing, playing things with less than three attack. It works towards a potential daily quest of uh, I'm going to trade out all the beasts for later on. Uh, a potential daily quest of, of doing quest cards which those they need to change that. Either change the daily quest or change something else there. Hmm. Alright. So the question will be, can I get this card done, this quest, in three turns uh, when I go second? There's a decent chance. And we're going to be really powered up on this character because we're going to play these other Murlocs. And so the, the thing that would kill me is if he plays a secret. So we play this, 
then we play this, and then we play this, and in the turn. And see, I could have played that legendary character that would have killed everything that that cost three or less, and then I would have only gotten the raptors. But you would have just then had a deck of 15 raptors, which is an odd thing to do. At least, slightly odd. He's playing Murlocs too. We play this. We do this. We attack. In the turn. So I need four more. I can't do it on the third turn. It is going to require the fourth turn. They've probably got all these quests pretty well done so that you can only accomplish them by the fourth turn at the fastest. And uh, that makes decent sense since all of these quest cards seem to cost five mana anyways. So mm -hmm. it's it would be an amazing strategy if you could get the entire quest done and play it on even one turn early uh, I don't I seriously doubt you could ever do it on the first turn not not right now unless there's some kind of card that comes out that says take 20 of your health and turn it into 10 mana crystals on the first turn and if they did something like that that would be so overpowered to be insane hmm Quickly. Let's see. So we play this, this. Hmm. And Today, this. I don't have to be a princess. And then attack. And that's as best as we can do. Unfortunately, this character's ability won't ever be triggered because uh, at least not till the 11th turn because I won't be able to get rid of this Tyrannosaurus which I got for free so I shouldn't really complain in fact I got both of these cards for free otherwise my hand would be empty hmm. and we're too short so I'm not even gonna get this next turn unless I I play get a specific card that I don't think I even put in this deck that would have given me two 1-1 one, one creatures to play. But that being said, I think I like this deck better than the previous one because it's more well-rounded where the previous one was very much focused on doing just a quest and it wasn't even really focused on winning after you did the quest. So, like, you play this, it ends a random beast in your hand, and do I play an elemental last time? Nope, but whatever. Do I want a 3-3 three, three or 4-2? 3-3? Three, three. Go ahead and kill that, and then do that. See, I feel like... I have a slight advantage even without the quest. And he doesn't even have a quest oh in this deck. And see, I don't know if you can play that way anymore. I think in the same way that you probably should have Prince Malkazar in a deck like this, which which I don't, which is probably a mistake in this case. Uh, I think the similar things... Today, I don't have to be a princess. Like, I think you have to play the quest cards. This here, and then this here, and this, and attack. It'll be interesting when I play this to see if it's the same spread. Hmm. And I don't think my Hearthstone deck tracker app is right. Because it already says I have like 10 Tyrannosauruses. So, uh, they're going to need to patch that because there's no way I have 10 Tyranituses in, in my deck already. Right. 
says I have four old mark eyes. The no, that's the mana cost. I'm I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I? Hmm. Is there something here that says fifteen? That was gifted. I wonder. No. Hmm. Just in the turn here. So the Hearthstone deck tracker isn't adding raptors, but I'm pretty sure you are getting just random raptors. Maybe all the raptor cards that were in the expansion. It's gonna take more testing than it than I have time for today to find that out. He has 16 cards, I have 35. I wonder. And see, I have this stealth to kill this guy, I have this to, to do 8 damage. Well, I guess not. Interesting. I'm gonna potentially lose here. Now this is Adapt Your Murlocs, I assume that means Adapt the Murlocs that are actually on the field right now, and since they aren't, then nothing happens. I let the dogs out. I don't think doing some uh, a quest card like this, and then trying to make your opponent run out of cards is a good strategy. And see, I may lose here still, but I still think feel like this is the right the deck to build. Uh, yeah, I have to kill this one or I lose anyways. But I'm probably gonna lose. Like, he can do 5 damage plus this, making 7. I have 6 health. Mm. Well played. Honestly, that quest is not even that great. But it works. It works with the Murloc deck, at least. I suppose the question, though, is... Should I focus more on on making a murloc deck? Hmm. Am I happy with it as it is, or should I take out some of the other things and put in murloc things instead? I think I'm I'm gonna call it call it good. So Murloc Battle Cry If I'm mistyping some of this, please ignore that. Beast three attack. And that's all the room I have. So, Murloc, Battlecry, Beast 3. <laughs> that's what this deck does. That's four different daily quests. That's an amazing one that it works towards. Uh, and Hunter. And so, actually, it's five different daily quests that it works towards. It's not the best Murloc deck you could ever build. And if I had extra room... I'm very possibly going to do that. Um, it's definitely not a standard deck. 
Because if it was standard deck, I'd have to get rid of Brave Archer, Sir Finley Morgleton, the Web Spinner, and Old Murkai. Otherwise, it could be made a standard deck. But th that's almost not what I want to do. Uh, did I just delete them all? Now switch back to a wild deck. There we go. So yeah, that's the hunter deck that I've decided to play as. Uh, a big difference than what I did last time, where decks were specifically built around that. So like this battlecry mage deck is is gone. We don't need that anymore. Uh, this murloc deck, I think I'll hold on to. You. Uh, but. The other thing that's certainly happening here is I'm only making one deck per character this time. So I'm going to end up having some extra things. Like this first one that was Quest, Beast, and... What is that? I can't even read it. Uh, I, I don't even know what that third word is. Let's see. Taunt. There we go. Quest, quest Beast, Taunt has like four different things they could do on a daily quest so this taunt alone is we can get rid of that too i think i'll hold on to my murloc deck just because i think a pure murloc deck makes sense and we here's another battle cry deck that we can get rid of right now too and so we're Definitely doing multiple, multiple quests. Anyways, stretching out here. Next time we do the mage, that'll certainly be interesting. As always, please stay tuned if you're watching this live. Otherwise, as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.